Yeah, no better place for the burned out tax collector. Working those mud villages along the Sinai Peninsula to unwind. You gotta. Uh, and if you know a hotshot uh, Roman senator with a private yacht, <laughs> so much the better. Huh? Yeah. Beach resorts, Crete, right here. Oh, roads. Oh, brothers. Oh, yeah. Uh, most popular playgrounds in um, to get those Carthaginians, Franks, Jews off your backs. And <laughs> oh, out of your goddamn mind. Uh, look, we're talking Matala Cave history. So, look. There's a specific event. It was on a private senator's yacht. It's spring night. Fabius Spartacus becomes dangerously drunk, slips backward on a bunch of grapes, and spaloosh into the Aegean. Too bad it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Nobody even missed him. They'd already passed out already. Well, in the morning... Zorba, Zorba, the beekeeper, he sees the body on the shore in the, this Roman toga, white Roman toga, clinging to this obese human. Uh, he's still breathing. Uh, so he drags the blacked out aristocrat well by his heels through the sand to his stone hut. Uh, the, uh, of his neighbor, Yorgos, the octopus hunter, who lives with his teenage daughter, Aphrodite. Well, and when Fabius wakes up in a strange bed before a crackling fire, uh, he finds himself being nursed, spoon-fed. Well, she's trying. Sea urchin soup? <laughs> And as the innocent uh, Aphrodite, she bends forward with the spoon. Her blouse uh, uh, falls forward enough uh, to reveal her tantalizing teenage tits, adolescent buds, yeah, and the eyes, Fabius, they come into focus. I mean, he's almost died on the tender nipples. Okay, rest is Greek history. Uh, Aphrodite nurses Fabius back to life. <sighs> I mean, how fortunate for both of them that they become lovers, huh? How many senators wafts up on your beach? Filthy rich, huh? <sighs> All those scams, all those bribes, yeah. And Fabius, he, he so falls in love with her. He's got it real bad, yeah. Well, <clears throat> to celebrate his victory over death uh, and his pure love <laughs> for Aphrodite, um, Fabius builds a, a, a Roman summer villa in the Quait, Settlement of Matala, yeah, on a beautiful hill overlooking the beach. Matala at that time, population four. And every August thereafter, Fabius and Aphrodite shack up together in his villa, make love on the beach, and eat so much grilled octopus served by the ever handy and uh, Overpaid, absorb. <laughs> Greeks, they know how to make a quick drachma. <laughs> um, and this represents the passing of time in my video books. Four years, erotic summers pass by in this uh, way, blissfully. Until, well, alas, uh, Fabius becomes wasted by lead poisoning in those damn 
Roman pipes, they didn't know any better. I mean, we're still removing lead pipes in the United States. 500,000 kids are being dumbed down by lead pipes. I mean, Fabius got wiped out. Why didn't we learn our lesson from Fabius Spartacus? We've had so much time. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, he's dying. Uh, uh, oh, and uh, the romantic, Fabius, uh, orders Zorboth and uh, Yorgos to cut a catacomb burial crypt for him in the volcanic stone cliff. I mean, these aren't natural caves. They've been hewn out like uh, the tough cones in Cappadocia. And you're going to hear all about that in chapter two. So it's kind of like that. So just hold that, and then you get the whole picture filled in shortly. Oh, and that way his sea nymph, Aphrodite, can attend to his tomb. Fresh flowers all the time. Keep it, you know, spruced up as they say in Scandinavia. Yeah, he died in the arms of Aphrodite. It was a stormy night, 281, after the death. Well, let's just say in the common era, get Jesus out of the picture. Um, so everybody can relax. No original sin. You can fuck with a smile on your face, Okay. I like the Buddhists, huh? That's why I'm a Buddhist, huh? You know what sex is all about for Buddhists? Giggling. <laughs> uh, well, uh, soon, other burned-out Roman bureaucrats, I mean, friends of the late Fabius, now visit uh, his, uh, well, now available, girlfriend, and taken by the sheer magnificence of... Uh, her breasts, the surrounding landscape, they too have memorial crypts excavated, toofed out of the kind of pumice, easy to toof out cliff, peaceful tombs of Mandala. Then that hippie shouts out again, but aren't there other places the Romans buried their dead? Bio zone. Okay, like, yeah, okay, kid. I mean, slave. There are other world famous catacombs. Ah. Naples. You ever heard of Naples? You ever heard of Syracuse? Well, I went to Syracuse University to become a photojournalist, huh? <laughs> and, and work as a foreign correspondent for the New York Times. You have to read the back covers of my books to get the bio stuff. Uh, Naples, oh yeah, we covered that. Syracuse University. Um, at Ruria. No, at Ruria. You're going to have to smart phony that up. Malta, you've heard of that. Uh, Alexandria, yeah. Uh -huh. Egypt, Cleopatra, Richard Burton, Elizabeth Taylor. Just fucking each other. <laughs> Both married at the time. Oh, boy, did the paparazzi just <laughs> lap up on that. Yeah, and the catacombs. So these catacombs, it was, this is a little, little cult affair, strictly. Um, look, you got enough room for 60 uh, dead space cases, maximum capacity. 60 corpses, get them in, shelve them in there. And then wait for the next passage of catacomb history. Well, who came after the Romans, I wonder? Oh, I got to change my, uh, I can't see anymore. I hope you can see me. I got to move because uh, I can't wear really aviator Ray-Bans and do this. <laughs> 